In this video, I will be teaching you how to find the derivative of this function using the chain rule. Then after finding the result, I'll tell you a quick and short method on how to easily get the derivative of any e function. So let's begin our chain rule by letting y equals to e to the x squared. And we also let u equals to x squared. So from the chain rule, we know that dy dx equals to dy du times du dx. You can think of the du's as cancelling out, so we're left with dy dx equals to dy dx. So on our left hand side, we basically have the same as y equals to e to the u, because we let u equals to x squared here. So one more thing you need to know about differentiating exponentials is that the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. So if we apply this here, we have dy du equals to e to the u. So now we found dy du, our next job is to find du dx. So du dx equals to 2x. So now we have everything, we can just plug it into our formula over here dy du equals to e to u times du dx which is 2x so our last step is to replace the u with x squared because we want everything in terms of x so we have e to the x squared times 2x and that is our answer to the derivative so hopefully you can see from this result that the easiest way to find the derivative of any e function with the chain rule is to just find the derivative of the index. So in this case, our index is x squared. The derivative of an e function will always be the derivative of the indice times the function again. Our indice was x squared, so our derivative is 2x times the function.